Inside this box is something very, very special. So I'm sure a lot of you guys know that I've been following along. I recently got into base jumping. I only have, let's see, 28 jumps. Still a fledgling base jumper. Not at all at the level that I'm at in paramotoring. In the paramotoring world through this YouTube channel, I've been extremely, extremely fortunate to work with some amazing companies as far as like uh, gear and sponsorship type stuff goes. Now through a connection I have with Scout, one of their guys reached out and put me in contact with a guy from At Air Canopies, Andre. I hope I'm saying that right. And long story short, they actually agreed to hook me up with base jumping gear. In this very box is my brand new custom base jumping canopy. I just, I honestly, I'm so humbled. I can't even believe that I have this opportunity. So we're gonna go ahead and open this up and uh, uh, who else has done a base jumping canopy unboxing on YouTube? There she is. Man, I'll tell you what. Feels like Christmas morning. Check this out. Looks like we got a couple different sliders in there. We got a bunch of pull-up cords, a t-shirt, tailgates. So, in order to get a better look at this beauty, we're gonna go down to the park, lay her out, and uh, give her a good look, hopefully kite her up in some wind. A couple more things before we get down to the park. That coffee you guys saw in the intro, you guys know I love coffee, I'm all about coffee all the time, every day. But not just like Folgers or Maxwell House or that lame stuff. I like quality, like fresh roasted. The guys at Crema Coffee reached out and they sent me that coffee in the intro. It was amazing, super good coffee. And they actually sent me a discount code. So I will link that down below. Check it out if you want 10% off of some really amazing coffee. Check out their stuff. I highly recommend it. We got a mesh vented slider of sorts. A sick t-shirt, and it's even the right size. Ooh. Oh. Vision by Adair. So if you don't know about base gear, essentially this is just the canopy and I still need the harness and the container part of it. And they're actually working on that too. I wanna see if I can get some air in the cells, just inflate it, just the canopy by itself, just to see what she looks like. Looks pretty beautiful. I don't know, Jacqueline, what do you think? It's big. It's a 245. Just the right size for me. having a moment. Can you imagine? Tandem paramotor over the valley, base jump, just land right here with this little guy. Me and this canopy are gonna have some adventures. Check it out, beautiful weather. I've done a couple flights, still kind of riding the high of unboxing that sweet base jumping canopy. It's kind of, I, I feel so grateful to have it, but I'm like itching to actually use it. But check it out, Dan is up there and uh, I'm about ready to go up. The weather is so perfect right now, I'm just gonna like cruise around and buzz the trees and talk about life and everything. And uh, I wanna show you guys this, check this out. This little strobe guy, if you guys followed the um, Oshkosh videos, the Paradigm team was the first to really put these to use. And these are a product developed by Aviator PPG. Normally, the really nice strobes are really expensive and bulky, so it's like permanently mounted to your motor and then it's just another thing to like snag and 
more weight and everything. These guys are super duper lightweight, super duper bright, lets you fly an hour or half an hour after sunset and before sunrise, and super easy operation, single button. I put that crazy Velcro on mine so I can choose to put it on my helmet if I want it or not. Um, you can mount them to the cage, blah, blah, blah. They're pretty awesome. You should check them out. I'm gonna use mine tonight because I've got a whole bunch of fuel so I can fly after sunset. And we're gonna go up with the 360 GoPro Fusion. Just buzz around, have fun. So with that, let's get in the air. If I could describe this air in one word, it would be butternut squash. Is that two words? The technique here is when there's stuff like this going on at the park, soccer games, try to be as respectful as possible and just take off, depart, don't make too much noise, don't do anything crazy, make it look like you know what you're doing and say bye. A little bit concerned moments ago when I filmed that little intro before I got off the ground I saw Dan now I don't see Dan and I'm like what the hell happened to Dan did he crash did he have a motor out did he get freaking abducted by an alien I don't know I don't see the guy paranoia sets in so here's a little fun trick in my uh, how to fly a paramotor video I mentioned the speed bar system and uh, I didn't have it hooked up at the time. I, uh, since then I hooked up my speed bar and I've been keeping it on. I can't actually, I don't think I can use it tonight with the go pole. Sit on the go pole and push speed bar it might be a little risky, but you guys will see more of it in the future. I clocked myself at 47.5 miles per hour at full speed, which is pretty gnarly. I'd say that's pretty reasonable for a damn piece of fabric and a, a butt fan. I found the smooth air. It's just hiding in this hill where, uh, or the shadow from the hill where everything is cool. Oh damn, there's a deer. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna do a little tree run down here. This is the uh, don't try this at home moment because if my motor died, I'd likely smash into a tree, but you know. <laughs> Check out this little path. I love these little sporadic trees. Down here, there's a little pond that if you try hard enough, you can dip down into it and get like a, a one foot long foot drag, just the shortest little foot drag, because as soon as you touch the water, you gotta pop up. I think this is enough low flying. I'm gonna get a bunch of altitude and we'll watch the sunset. And then I'll flick on my strobe and we'll roll right into the night. A wild den appears. Gentlefully, gentlefully. Approaching the hillside. I don't know if you can tell by the GoPro view, but Dan has his strobe on. Let's uh, kick on my strobe. So this is what you do. You got a button on the side, you press it once, and now we're strobing. And there's either four or five different modes. You can cycle through the modes by tapping the button, get different frequencies and pulses or whatever. All right, we're gonna dive down this hillside. Everyone that has seen this strobe from the ground, I've used it the past few nights at the park, has said that they can see it from really far away. And Dan's probably pushing a mile away and I can see his nice and steady. We're like little lightning bugs, dude. <laughs> yeah, there's a little wind up here. I wonder which way it's going. 
I don't feel any turbulence right now, which is kind of spooky. Is it coming up the hill? It better be. We gonna learn today? Look at this. At idle, smooth air. Just swoop in the trees. And now we're in the do or die zone. If my boater died, I'd hit the trees. So we're gonna get up and get more altitude. Dan Strobin. Looks like he's coming in for a landing. Get it, Dan. Nice and steady. Easy does her. Beautiful landing. Get the motor killed, so there's no potential hazard. Swooper, this away. Almost forgot the fuel can. Well, I'm gonna cap this one off here because we got like freaking beautiful LED lighting. I just wanna give another huge shout out to At Air. I don't know what to say. Beyond humbled to receive a canopy from them. Super custom also. And uh, yeah, you guys will hopefully be seeing a lot of that canopy in the next van life trip. Jumping off of stuff, jumping out of stuff, doing all kinds of fun things with it. This is what we do. Summertime, cruising around the park, having fun, flying low, flying high, doing stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Fuel can, peace out. Yeah.